Hello and thank you for subscribing to Infoverse Tech. Uh, this is a channel where we explore new trends in technology and today we're going to look at a Python library uh, called Bar Chart Race and this actually provides an animated um, data visualization um, and the data set that we're going to look at uh, it comes bundled with this library and it's called uh, or it's tracking cases uh, of COVID-19 by country so let's get started as you can see i already have my jupyter notebook open and uh, the name i've given to my um, program today is python bar chart race so let's get started uh, the first thing that we need to do is to import a couple of well-known libraries which are uh, pandas and numpy so let me just get those and uh, install them here Okay, we are uh, you know very familiar with these I will also add the the main library that we're interested in which is bar chart race and I'll just show you what's the command to how you can import that so it's import bar underscore chart underscore race as BCR and you, you can also actually install it if you don't have it already I've already done that so I will um, show it to you here but I have it commented out as you can see so it's pip uh, install bar chart race so since I already have it installed I will not run that command but I'll certainly be importing it for this session so let's go ahead and run that and so that that's fine it's imported all these uh, libraries now what we're going to do as I mentioned earlier that we're going to use a data set that's as it's like a tutorial and it comes built in with uh, this uh, library so it's called COVID-19 tutorial and uh, let me just bring it up so we uh, read it using uh, the load data set uh, command for BCR so let me write it here so uh, BCR which is the bar chart racer and will use the load underscore data set to load this and what we can do is we can just move that into uh, a variables that we're going to use in the following uh, few uh, lines okay so uh, cases by country and uh, so that will get the value of this data set let me run that okay so that ran fine now let's uh, move on and look at the actual data so uh, let's look at the first five uh, lines of that data so you know it's cases underscore by country dot head uh, which means that you're just looking at the uh, first five um, rows of that data so you can see uh, how this is arranged and this the, the arrangement is uh, or, or the formatting is known as white data where the each column contains the data that uh, represents the same thing in this case which is a number of cases uh, due to COVID-19 and uh, we can use uh, date as an index so for each of these days like 3rd of April 2020 4th of April 2020 and so on for each of these dates these were the uh, cases reported um, for each country and here it's shown a subset but um, it, it can actually uh, use or, or show or display um, you know then all the number of uh, countries that are in that data set and let's also take a look at the last five uh, using tail so let's look at the last five rows and when we run that it shows us it goes up till 12th of april 2020 and again you can see united kingdom usa these are the countries and their respective cases okay so let's move on and actually show uh, how we can display that so it's it's again very simple we in, invoke the animation by using bcr dot bar underscore chart underscore race and cases by country this is uh, the variable that contains that data set as, as we show as i just showed you the uh, the first uh, few lines and the last few rows uh, for this data set so just by using bcr dot bar underscore chart underscore race and um, including the the variable 
we should be able to run that and see how it uh, uses that data set to uh, show us that animation. So let's go ahead and run that. That asterisk uh, tells us that it's currently processing it. So let's give it a few seconds. Now the row here represents the time period. Each, each row, like I said, represents a single day when that case was reported. Um, the column represents the different categories that we want to visualize and each column holds the value of the categories and the time component is the index based on which um, you're creating this animation. So you can see um, these are the, all the countries and, and the, the cases. So by default, um, it is um, in descending order and you can see you have Italy currently at the highest then followed by USA. So as those um, days are being tracked and the number of cases, you can see that it shows a very nice uh, way to visualize that data. Now let's, um, uh, this is very uh, a rich uh, library and making some small uh, changes, we can really, um, you know, format the way this visualization, visualization is uh, displayed. So let's just look at some examples. So uh, you can also use ascending. So like I said, the default is to show it in descending mode. Uh, if you use a variable called sort equals ascending, it will sort that data in ascending format. So let's let me remove this. So we can then focus on this one. And when I run this, it should now display the data as an ascending order. Now let me uh, tell you here that the default number of uh, countries displayed is indicated by n underscore bars. That's also um, uh, you know a, a change that you can make in in the configuration or in the way the data is displayed. Um, and that's the default. We can certainly change that to allow more number of countries or less number of countries. That's entirely up to us. Uh, so here you can see that since we changed the default from descending to ascending, it's showing how the number of cases, uh, like in this example, uh, on the top of the chart, it's just the countries with the lowest number of cases. And you can see at the uh, bottom, uh, you have countries with the highest number of cases. So it's, it's just a way of uh, looking at uh, how the, uh, the data is represented differently. Uh, I'm, you know, I, I'm okay with both, but I, I do prefer the, the default, which is an in descending format. Okay, let me um, delete this as well. And so we can uh, put in a new one. Um, like I said, the number of countries um, defaults to six n underscore bars. So let's see if we can uh, make a change and want to show you more countries than uh, the default. So let's run that. So um, the what you need to add here is n underscore bars, which is equal to ten. So let's run that. And now we should be showing a, a maximum of ten countries rather than six that were displayed earlier. Okay, so the other thing, uh, let, let, let's wait for this to run. The other thing that we can uh, do is, you know, add some more um, information like the title here. So we can do that in the next uh, visualization that I run. Okay, so you, if you can count, you, you'll make, you'll, you can notice that at maximum, you'll have uh, 10, um, 10 countries showing. So we can go ahead and change this to, let's say eight, uh, when I run that the, the other time. And the second thing that we want to add is, let's say like a title. So it just conveys uh, more information. So let me show you the syntax for adding that. So uh, we can then write it down. So it's title and whatever you want to say here. So because this is uh, the COVID-19 uh, data set, I just used uh, that. So COVID-19 cases by country. So let's re run that and see how that displays. And uh, so while that's uh, processing, the other thing I wanted to uh, 
show you here was that uh, right now the default is 500 milliseconds or half a second uh, as as the bars move so every um, half second you can see the change so we can also change that maybe it's uh, f too fast for somebody so we can certainly slow it down and i'll show you uh, in the next visualization so here you can see that uh, we now have a a title clearly uh, telling us what this um, bar chart animation is for so um, as you can see perhaps for my liking uh, the it's moving very fast so let's slow that down a bit uh, what we can do is so we can actually the order doesn't matter but i'll just insert it here um, so what uh, we need to do is uh, say period underscore length equals uh, so it's uh, default is 500 milliseconds or a half a second uh, let's make it um, two seconds so that would be 2000 and again keep that comma let's run that and see how that uh, affects the visualization so it is it, it takes a little more time you can see um, and if it's larger data set uh, your processing might uh, or the rendering might take longer to to visualize Anyway, once that comes up, we will notice that it's uh, much more s smoother, much more slower. And uh, personally, I do like it at this speed. And, and we, we can, you know, further change that. Uh, whatever period or, or frequency you you are comfortable with. Now, we uh, can look at uh, another option uh, where uh, instead of these being updated, we can say, you know, we're just interested in these four countries or these six countries, and uh, we don't care about the other data. So here, um, the countries are changing based on the number of cases, but we can say, we're just looking at these six um, countries and we are interested in these. So let's just keep on showing me that data. So the way to do that is to use something called a fixed order. And let me just show you how we can do that and uh, before i do uh, that so this is a uh, horizontal again uh, by default what we can do is we can change that to show you a uh, vertical format uh, and let's see how that shows up let me add it here again the order doesn't matter i could have added it after the title and let's see how that runs so uh, give it a couple of seconds let's see how that displays and uh, once that runs successfully i'll show you how we can fix the order uh, to the countries that we are interested in okay so this is the vertical format and um, personally i i prefer the horizontal for some reason i like it better than the vertical but again it's it's uh, your option and um, you, you can change that by setting up orientation equals to vertical but like I said, I, I prefer the default, which is horizontal, so I'll, I'll take that out. Now, the other thing I wanted to show you is just before the title or after the title, I'll add the command, which is to show the fixed um, order of uh, countries. So the syntax is, again, uh, pretty simple. You say fixed order, fixed underscore order. So I'm, I'm interested in China, France, Iran, Italy, Spain, and USA. So that's one, two, three, four. There's six countries. Let's run that and see how that visualizes. Okay, I think I may, might have made a small error. Okay, I don't think I need this. Let me take that out, yeah. I don't think I need that here because we have a bracket closing. Now that looks better. Let's run that, rerun that. Okay, I didn't catch that earlier. Yeah. So like I said, you know, these uh, uh, configuration changes that you make, they can be, they don't have like any, the order doesn't matter. You can have them anywhere. It's just that you need to respect uh, the the brackets and so on. So here we are back to horizontal because that's the default. And uh, what do we notice? That because it's fixed order, uh, it's going to just keep on showing the data among these four or six or eight or whatever that number is uh, of countries that we are particularly interested in. So again, um, 
you know I've shown you a very um, simple tutorial just to get started but the idea is it's, it's it can be uh, used to uh, anim animate and visualize any kind of data the data has to be in that white data format and um, in, in a later perhaps in a later uh, video tutorial I may I, I will show you how to uh, take raw data uh, make sure that it formats to the data that bar chart racer requires and then go from there and we'll also look at um, plotly and um, the other libraries which can give you some more interaction and uh, perhaps a better way to visualize the data so thank you very much for watching uh, do subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for uh, more content and my my idea is to introduce a, a concept like this one and make sure that you uh, enjoy the content and um, and also learn at the same time and perhaps use this in your day-to-day uh, -day work thank you very much for watching